When you are a damn gorgeous reader and you need the perfect gorgeous deck to go with your energy, you would need the palette card. So beautiful, so gorgeous, your reading will show your past, present, and your foreseeable future with amazing colors. Get the palette deck by Sal. Hi Aries, welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading. Relax, it's just a reading. <laughs> I wonder why you guys think I always fix in here before I start. For some reason, it, my desk always moves. Okay, let's see what's going on for the Aries. Okay. How about we start with a little bit coffee? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on. Let's start first with the Oracle. This is the extended one. Next is extended two. I don't know why my belly looks like extended. Okay, here we go. <laughs> let's see what's up with you guys. Okay, let's see. Relax, relax, relax. Okay. I feel like you guys have been good. Okay. Then expect good things to come your way. Okay. Let's see. Oh, hello. Okay. <laughs> now, I feel like you're ready. Okay. This is one of those things. Um, with whatever you're doing, well, hopefully... You know, with work, you're ready, right? <laughs> Go to work. Um, you're ready for whatever you're manifesting. Um, you were groomed for this, okay? Um, it can be a skill, a talent, and, you know, it's like, let's just say you're a stage performer, you're a pianist, you're, you know, it's like you're a creative person, or if not, it's like you have a project, your school, it's like you're ready, okay? You're built for this, okay? However, you're not ready for the pink elephant, Okay, or the white elephant. You haven't bought my gift. Mm-hmm, kidding. Uh, I'm seeing here like you might get surprised and get shocked that someone will reach out and give you a gift. Um, there's also someone here who you thought you knew but you didn't. It's about gift. Uh -huh. um, it's like, oh, let's just say you have a boss and you're, you're feeling it's like, oh, maybe I am getting this. It's like, oh, they don't like that. They're allergic to peanuts. And you just gave them okay, all the peanuts in the world. Peanut butter, peanut jelly, peanut, peanut, peanut. Okay, so try to get to know who this person that you are giving a gift. Okay, because you just killed them with the allergy. Oh, it's not funny. Okay. Um, someone here also is always trying to pray and try to understand their purpose in life. Um, I feel here that you're really, really trying your best um, to, you know, like to correct the wrongs that you have in life. I mean, we've all gone there. You know, we all have our shadow side. I forgot what it's called. But we all have, in, in Sanskrit, um, we all have our shadow side. And this is the part of you that you are seeing right now. It's like, you know what? I can be a better person. I can be a better person. Can you give me a moment? I'm going to check what is the shadow side. Because I was reading it. Okay. In Sanskrit. And I love, okay. I love sharing knowledge. Hold on. Okay, the dark side. I was discussing it yesterday. And don't worry. Okay. Okay. Okay, so it's called um, Papa Purusha. It's a shadow self. Okay. Papa Purusha. Papa Purusha. That's our shadow side. Okay. I feel like you're... You feel like you really, really belong with this person, with your soulmate. It can be even that this is your friend, um, or you guys will start as a friend, or but there's something similar and uh, what do you call it? Something that you also will recognize. Like, hey, you know what? This is that person. Okay, this is that person that makes me happy. And there's something similar between the two of you, um, but it can also be just similar soul even. Because I see here that you guys are totally, totally different and yet something similar. So I'm not sure what it, what it means. Maybe you guys are just have the same blood type. Okay. Got a soulmate. The penguin there that has a head. Okay. It just looks like it does it. It's leaning. Okay. And there's a lot of heart. The tribe there shows that you could have you guys could have just met um, through um, a specific journey or travel. They were traveling. And you guys, that's where you guys connected. Uh -huh. I feel like someone here is also very, very eccentric. The way that they dress. It's time for you now to understand that things will work out. Okay? It's time for you to understand that happiness is just around the corner. Okay? As long as it's not your connect. Mm -hmm. They're always in the corner. <laughs> okay. 
So let's see here. Someone also is realizing that they want to fix this and they haven't really been upfront with you, but they're about also to speak up. Silence between the two of you will also end. Um, however, when it ends, someone is still hasn't gotten over of the pain that this connection has caused them because it was put on hold for a very, very long time. A relationship is manifesting pretty soon. Okay. And it will give you it will bring you joy and abundance and it will also take you out of misery and feeling lonely you've been practicing your spiritual path for quite some time you have been patient to meet the right one and finally is here you got ace of pentacles with the hierophant okay there will be pros and cons to the situation you guys you will you should always um weigh it that you know love is more than anything else even though that both of you have been brutally silent with each other with the five of pentacles that proves something in you that you know it's like that love okay that self-healing love is inside you and that you, you're not a dependent to someone else's attention for love you understand me it's right here always right there what's here is also my necklace <laughs> okay, so what is that <laughs> let's see You are blessed, Aries, with peace. Oh, that is something that everybody at the end of our lifetime is what we are really seeking. Okay? A peace. Uh -huh. yeah. And you will have someone that is loyal. Okay, that's a loyal heart. So you are connecting with someone that will give you joy, happiness, and even um, feeling that this is the person. This is your person, is what they keep saying. Stop wondering, stop asking questions, just keep doing what you are doing. Not sure what you're doing, okay? But it's just saying, keep doing what you're doing. It can be you're studying, you're learning, or you're just traveling, you're enjoying life. Um, but you know, in this constant journey, okay? I feel like it's about time that you guys will have this person that you deserve. I feel like I like them, okay? Um, it can be a Leo mm -hmm, who's been confused, yes. Or you have a Leo in your chart. Um, I feel here like there got, there's other people who got involved in this relationship, but all those people are gone. Not in a romantic way. Other people, like their friend, family, and you know, they confuse the relationship. They also cause trouble in the relationship. It can also be their, their job. Someone here is trying to establish themselves again before they can offer to you okay, the commitment. So they've been going through that. I'm um, part of, uh, how to say this, um, self-improvement. They probably attended my workshop. Link in the description. So someone is going through that moment where I need to be better. I need to be at least a good human being before they can come to you. Things will be fine. Things will be okay, especially with your finances. Um, you just have to understand that, you know, there are things in the past that you have to release and let go. Um, meaning uh, with regards to your finances if there's any kind of lavish lifestyle that you had before learn um, basically to be more flexible okay so in other words you cannot buy Starbucks anymore okay because <laughs> that thing is expensive you see that that's a lifestyle right there six dollars a pop every day in the morning okay and then what what three dollar fifty or whatever every day and just do the math okay so that's something that you know it's like there are things that you will um in reality you have a lot of coins but it's how you spend it people have a lot of coins it's just the misuse of the funds that's what happened because learning to manage finances is different from making finances yes we all know how to make it but nobody knows how to keep it just saying just saying okay and it's here it's showing like you know it's like well it's showing here that i need to give you guys advice on how to release and let go of things of the past Okay, let's just say, you know, here's what I do, okay, well, like, buy something in bulk and then never buy it again, you know, and then that's it, and buy it on sale and then, you know, it's like, never buy it again, but of course, those are the things that doesn't spoil, don't buy chicken for the rest of your life, okay, it's gonna go bad, 
Just trust me on that one. Okay. So <laughs> I've learned it. <laughs> I don't eat chicken. But it's showing here about your financial progress. Someone you love is trying to make their way, however, they're still healing, and there's hurt. Judging with Three of Swords. Because they felt mistreated, okay? With the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Wands, um, expect a visit, expect them to fly, expect expect this person to make um, make some sort of effort, okay? Because they're receiving the call to action, Eight of Wands. Alrighty? So, Aries, uh, link down there in the description box for the extended one. This is the extended one. Next is extended two. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will see you guys again. Bye. Well, that was what you guys just saw. It's something that I was been working on. <laughs> um, I know this is timestamp already, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, uh, how to say it, prolong it any much longer. But yeah, do help yourself with the glamour crystal boxes and the ring. The link is down there. Okay, but let's proceed um, to your read. Okay, here we go. And we'll probably do more crystal talk. Okay, we'll do more crystal talk. Okay. The good kind, not the other kind. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no judgment over here. Listen. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Fifteen to the twenty-first. Okay, we're just we are we need to push the weekly. It's gone because you know we don't know what will happen <laughs> in December season and how busy it's gonna be. Okay, that's why I've been wearing all this red thingy already because we wish you a merry Christmas. And a happy new year. Here we go, Aries. 15 to the 21st. Hmm. Okay, what's going on? Feeling trapped, okay. Because Eight of Swords is feeling trapped, you have here. Not the best card, okay. You have you have fear of going out. Um coming out. Okay, so I'm not sure where you're going. You have hesitation, which will lead to constipation every time you feel like you're hindering or something from moving forward it creates an energy blockage in your body results to different kinds of how to call it well we can call it malefic manifestation okay when you're not expressing yourself through chakra you know through chakra is you know not expressed all this you know blockages can result in its eight of swords okay your doubts will lead to unhealthiness okay so let's be healthy okay eight of swords okay let's get out of the funk okay the eight of swords let me see other person Ooh. okay so you're fearing not the best morning okay it's not the best morning that we had over here okay eight of swords with a devil card okay so there is something out there Okay, and you don't want it. Whatever is out there, you don't want it. You don't want to be part of it. You know, there's a devil card over there. There can be someone who's attached to you, obsessed with you, and you're like, uh, uh, no, I'd rather stay at home. Okay, this is a stay at home card. The devil card is out there. Okay, so especially with this one, this can be you know an energy of a Capricorn that's been lurking around you. Okay, someone wants you. Vice versa for ooh, what's going on, Aries? <laughs> okay. I came with a, I came with a high spirit. It's a first read. <laughs> Three of swords over here. Eight of swords. Okay, so you're fearing of hurt. You you need to, you need to do some some salt bath or something. Epsom something. Dive into a lot of rose quartz. Okay, like if there's a rose quartz pool, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do that for the Aries. Maybe I should put a a freaking bath of salt uh, of rose quartz. All tumble stone. We dive into it instead of those balls for the playground for the kids. We're gonna go there, okay? Because this three of swords is not good. Someone has hurt you, paranoia. Ay, not good. Get out, okay? Get out of the funk. And this is fearful of a pass. Because eight of swords is about, you know, it's like, he, uh, uh, okay? This can be of the other person. You're scared of lies, deceit. Let's not end the year with this one, okay? Other person is four of swords. They haven't been talking to you even, but you're feeling it. Okay. They've been ignoring you. You have the three of swords, you're hurting, and the other person is a four of swords, so they don't talk to you, but they're possessive over here. Dear Lord, Aries. Okay. Okay. Let me see underneath the three of swords. Eight of Wands, they're far from you. You're expecting a message. They're expecting a message. They're expecting to see you. Okay, makes me just want to do another video, Aries. Whew. Eight of Wands. Okay, so far from you can be a Sag energy or you have a Sag energy. 
you're still looking it's like eight of swords to eight of wands you're fearing something far from you and expecting this fear you're setting yourself up for a disappointment it's almost like you're welcoming something that's not welcome by thinking of it you're manifesting a creature of the dark <laughs> Jesus. I need a bigger rose uh, amethyst for you. Oh, five of swords. Look at this. You guys had a fight? Argument? The grudge? Whew. Okay. What's going on? So this person is malefic, okay? Plain and simple. Cross watcher, vice versa. Five of swords. Ego driven with the devil card, okay? They're attached to their word. You know, they feel like, you know, I have the last to say, okay? And for you, I've never seen an Aries this doubtful, okay? You just want to stay away because, you know, they put you in that vibe. Hey, dear Lord, how can it last to the Pisces? Okay. Let me see what's the divide. Mm -hmm. You need some healing over here before... Oh, High Priestess, healing then. Okay, so what's the divide? It's like you guys are not communicating. You know, it's a shutdown over here with the High Priestess. You could be, of course, like, you know, high priestess practices something to align themselves again. You know the truth. If there was some secrecy, you know the truth now. High priestess has the knowledge about it, but you're not going to speak of it. Hence, you're scared, okay? So, eight of swords here is very scared of a hurt that the person can be from afar has done to you. Very corrupted energy, okay? Very, okay? Five of swords, even though there's no planet retrograde, it's almost it's like it's at a retrograde with this person, okay? Probably a lot of retrograde planets when this person was born, or you have. Um, Eight of Wands is the only positive card over here. Like, I'm not even sure if it's positive, but, you know, it's like, because Eight of Wands is, you know, it's an energy where there's spiritual growth, a spiritual awakening that's supposed to happen. Um, that's why you need to shut down first. High Priestess, you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Taurus energy. Okay? So I'm going to proceed, okay, with this reading. Okay, Aries? I'm surprised. I hope you're doing well, Okay. I would suggest, okay, I would suggest to clear your energies, Aries, with this with this person or you if you're a cross watcher. Um it's very troubled. The energy is very troubled. Um maybe do some mantra, you know, um or just some some sort of saging would help. Um some Palo Santo would help. Um um put some crystals on if you have crystal on, make sure that you 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 know it's it attaches to your skin. Um what else that we need to do, Aries? It's not even about a read. It's more of a healing message for you, okay? So what else that we need to do for the Aries? Um, yes. So that's what your main focus. Do that before the 24th, okay? I mean, it's an auspicious time to celebrate with the humans. You know, they celebrate Christmas. So if, even though you don't celebrate Christmas, it's an auspicious time to vibe with the energy of the universe. Since everybody's happy. I want you to be happy, okay? Because I'm always happy for my Aries. Aries is special. You guys know that. Mm -hmm. I'll see you guys again. Have a wonderful, wonderful December 15th to the 21st. Bye.